Peace, everyone. It's your man, Willie Green, coming at you from the greenhouse here in Brooklyn, New York. And I'm here to talk to you all about the brand new thing, the brand new plugin from Unfiltered Audio, Basement. Let's check it out and see what's really good. Um, things that make you feel so So Basement is a multi-mode bass enhancement plugin. Well, how is that different from some of the other bass plugins that you've got? Well, this one does all of those things all in one package, which I love because I'm all about efficiency. I don't want to be fumbling through play, uh, plugin lists to try and find the right thing. If I need to tweak my low end, Basement's got all those things right in it. So basically, Basement is centered around five different modes, right? Saturate, resonate, octave, synthesize, and overfold. You see them right there. Saturate is gonna add some nice saturation, a little distortion to, to your low end, and that'll make sure that you're translating, whether you're on a big full range listening system or a, shall we say, bass challenge listening system like earbuds or a phone speaker or something like that. It's important that your low end always translates anywhere someone's listening to it, and basements gonna make sure that you're knocking anywhere. Resonate, it's actually a, a high pass filter, so you're taking out some of the low end here, but it's going to put a resonant bump at wherever that cutoff frequency is. We'll talk about that knob in a second. Octave, pretty self-explanatory, it's going to add an octave above any frequencies below the cutoff knob. So an octave, anything below the cutoff knob is gonna generate an octave above. So that's also gonna make sure on a bass challenge system that those things are gonna be able to translate through. Also common effect on bass guitars and stuff. So that's cool. Synthesize, that is like the old school trick where you would trigger a sine wave generator or a signal generator with a kick drum. So when the kick hits, it adds this sine wave tone through it. This does that with all, all the patching that you used to have to do. An overfold, that's similar to saturate, but it's going to overdo it a little bit. If you're like me, I consider myself a distortionist. Sometimes you need a lot of drive on something to make it funky. Overfold is going to do that for you. Next to it, you've got our knobs. Cutoff is where all the action is. That's going to set the frequency uh, below where things are going to be processed. So that's like the main one where you dial in. Strength is how much of the effect you want to add. How diesel do you want it? There's your strength. Soften here. Soften is a low pass filter. So if you're driving and your upper frequencies are getting a little aggressive, you can use that soften to do just that. Smooth them out a little bit. Shelf is a low shelf, so if your low end starts to bloom a little extra, you can use shelf to roll that back a little bit and then you'll be good there. And clarity is probably my favorite control on here because they really thought about this one. A lot of the range between 250 and 400 is really where a lot of mud and low mid start to build up and cloud your whole mix. And as you're adding low end into your mix with this with this plugin, you may need to control that. Clarity is going to do that. It's going to start to bring down in that 400 hertz region and also maybe add, it adds a little bit up top treble wise to give you the detail that you need from your low end because it's not just about 70 hertz and below it'll give you that detail on top and also clear out some of that muddiness so everything can work together remember your low end is like a puzzle everything's got to be like this uh these buttons on the side over here on the right side are super handy anti-rumble filters out anything under 30 hertz so any like subsonic frequencies you're not really hearing or big low rumbles you don't need that's going to get rid of it a solo bass will just play you back whatever is below the cutoff knob a soft clip will give you a little extra last saturation, that little mwah, kiss at the end, so you know I got that on. And bypass does what all plug-in bypasses do. But let's hear this thing in action. Today we're looking at this new single from my homegirl Fielded. This is called Valleys and Peaks. And it's got, you know, low end needs. So this is the perfect thing for, for basement. Let me press play, let you hear what it is, and then we'll dive in. Um, 
I want to let that heart and those backgrounds hit you for a second. But we're not talking about them today. Today we're looking at the bass, so let's do it. I'm going to bypass this. This is what we started with. In. So you see that it's fuller, you know, it's not just, oh, we just cranked up everything below 100 hertz. We brought that out, but we brought in some of the clarity. So let's just hear that first little run again. That's funky. That's funky. So that's what we're doing on the bass. Let's look at the kick drum in that same place. So I've got a couple kicks in this track. I'll show you what I did with them. So on this one, we actually went with the overfold. Saturate is nice, but uh, you know how I get down. So if I could grime it a little more, I'm going to do that. But again, I'm doing that not just so I can distort things and have fun, but I want to make sure that this kick drum is really going to speak out on any listening system it's played back on, because this is like the heartbeat. It's just this four on the floor. Oh, uh, right. That's got to sing anywhere that this thing goes. Without basement. Right? So it's just, it's not distorting at all crazy. It's not, you know, way out of bounds, but it's just giving enough of that drive down at the bottom where we still have that nice attack up top to give us that punch, but we've got the impact down at the bottom. You know, I need that. And then lastly, Let's jump over to this other kick over here, right? So this kick here, I'm going to bypass and we're going to solo this kick. So that's a big rumble. That's really, you know, that's down there. If you are listening on something with a sub, you felt that. If you listen on your phone, you might not have felt that, right? So we're going to bring in the basement and now here we're on octave. So anything below 114 is going to duplicate that upper octave. So now we get. So that's different, right? Now we're not getting as much of that low rumble that we had. And you might be looking at me like green, you're talking about enhancing the bass. And then that took some bass out. Like I, I get you, but remember our bass all has to work together like a puzzle. So we had this first kick where we just added some more bottom and that's four on the floor. This is on two and four. This is on every other beat. This is that, that kick two is for that nice sway. But what the octave did is it gave that drum, instead of just having a rumble, it gave it some tonality. Remember, drums are instruments. They're not just things that clang and make noise, right? So it's got some nice tonality to it. So now that's coming through more as part of the song. And whatever speakers y'all listen to it on right now, I know you caught that. Uh, let's bring the bass in now and see how our whole low end is working together. And now you hear how everything is coming together and we're using definitely the bass and on this kick one, we're using that clarity knob because we've also got Rhodes in here. We've got organ in here. We've got harp in here. There's a lot going on in this song. We want to make sure that there's room for everything to all come together and just have a nice cozy low end. That's just going to give you a hug from your speakers. And that's what I'm all about.
So that's just a few ways that I'm using basement in my records, just accentuate and really craft my low end so it's nice and big and comfy. It's so flexible. There's a lot of other ways that you can use it too. So check that out, get on it, and really start to sculpt that low end and really push it to where you want it to be. That's unfiltered audio. That's basement. I'm Willie Green, and uh, it's been good kicking with Shaw, and I'll see you next time. Peace.